whoever shall walk on that path of holiness, even though he's regarded as a fool, because some the, the, the world, the society will regard you as a fool when you're doing when when you're doing things that 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 is challenging to them. The society, the world will regard you as a fool when you're doing things that that, are, that is meaningful. When the world cannot understand your ways of doing things, they will they will label you a fool. Are you with me? When the world do not understand the 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 the, 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 the the difference that is in you, they will label you a fool. Are you with me? Because they cannot comprehend it. They will label you a fool. They will call you all sorts of things. You understand? Because you, you don't appear to be cool in their own terms. They, they, their expectation of you. You do not meet their expectation of you. They, they will see you as a fool. You understand? So God is saying, this is the word of God. This is not the word of evil. This is not the word of man. This is the word of God. God is speaking and he's saying, even, even though a fool, even if a fool is on that path, he will not go astray. You understand? God uses, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27, that God uses the foolish thing, the foolish things of this world to put to shame the wise. You understand? There are some people in some places that claim to be the wise ones, Right? And they are the ones that are making, that are trying to mold the society in that insanity, right? And, and when you try to go contrary to their expectations, they label you as a fool or as a crazy person. You understand? So God is saying, God is saying that he will use the things of him, himself, to put to shame those people who are calling you fools. Amen. To put them to shame. Are you with me? To put them to shame. To show them. That God is, is not foolish. The Bible says, a fool says in his heart, there is no God. You understand? And those, those that are supposed to be wise, they go out there and, 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 and call Christians foolish. And call people that are believing in God foolish. So they, they, try them, they are trying to manipulate the young people. They are trying to manipulate the people. You understand? Because now the young people are ashamed to come out and say that I'm a Christian. Are you with me? The, 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 the people are, are, are ashamed to come out and declare who they are, who they really are. So therefore, they are hiding themselves. They are hiding behind closed doors because of what the society might say about them. You understand? So God is saying that he will put these people to shame. You understand? Because the ultimate wisdom belongs to God. You understand? In the eyes of man, Jesus going on the cross to die is foolish. In the eyes of the atheists, in the eyes of the world, gee, it doesn't make sense that a man can go to the cross and die for the sins of the whole world. It doesn't make sense. This is it sounds like it's foolish. But that's the way the world thinks. But God does not think this way. For God, he, he has seen a perfect sacrifice for all mankind to make atonement for the sins of the world. For God, he, he was carefully calculated, carefully orchestrated. You understand? That he himself had to come down to pay for the for the, for the sins for to die on the cross and pay for the sins of the world, but the world sees this as foolish. Are you, are you with me? And when you when you say that I belong to Jesus, the world labels you a fool. You understand? But today there are some people that will rise up and say, "I belong to Jesus," with boldness, without being ashamed. Even the coolest man on the earth was created by God. The most powerful man on earth was created by God. God has the power to take away the breath of anybody. God has the power to take away their wealth. The wealthiest man on the earth was created by God. The whole world put together, the whole galaxy, the whole universe put together is worth nothing in the sight of God. It's worth nothing. It's not even worth a drop in the pocket according to Isaiah chapter 40. You understand? It's not even worth anything. Are you with me? It's worth nothing. It is worthless before God. You understand? It's, it's nothing. Insignificant. You understand? So how then would I abandon the creator of this universe? How then should I be? Why then should I be afraid? Uh, should I be ashamed of the creator of this universe and start going towards the things of the world? Are you with me? So he's saying. That anyone who's on that path, even if he's a fool, will not go astray. Alright? 